welcome to my Pilates video for swimmers. My name is Hannah and I run Beyond the Studio Pilates and today I just want to take you through some simple exercises that you can do that will benefit you. So we're going to do book necks. This is a really good one for stretching out through those chest muscles, promoting an open chest, which will be really good for your posture. So you're going to bring your arms out. You need a little cushion under your head or something just so that your neck is in alignment. Make sure this bottom shoulder is nice and comfortable too. Then you're going to bring that top arm so it's mirroring the bottom arm. Now we need to think about that core. So we're going to pull your belly button towards your spine, bring your ribs down towards your hips. Little gap remains under your side. We're going to inhale here and then exhale. Stretch that arm forward, bring it up in line with your shoulder and then rotate through your mid, so through your thoracic spine. Take your arm back behind you. Make sure this hip doesn't roll back as well. Hold it there for an inhale. And then exhale. Slowly bring that arm back down, keeping your core engaged in belly button to spine. We're going to exhale, go forward, inhale, come up and over. Look to where your hand is going. And then exhale. Slowly bring that arm back down. So make sure your hips are staying stacked one on top of the other you're not letting your hip roll back as well the movement is just coming through that mid spine hip stays where it is think about gluing your knees together and that will help you with that idea that your hips are staying on top of each other so final one here we're going to stretch that arm forward bring it up in line with the shoulder and then rotate through your mid spine look to where your hand is going inhale and then exhale Slowly bringing that arm back. So we're going to come onto our backs next, and we're going to start with an abdominal curl. So you're coming onto your back, and we need to think about that chest up. So feet to hip distance apart, facing forward, core's engaged. Think about pulling your belly button towards your spine and your ribs down towards your hips. But then just check in with that lower back. So there should be a little gap under your lower back. If you Place your hand between your belly button and your pubic bone should be roughly in a straight line so your pelvis is in neutral and you haven't either arched your back so you've got this massive gap under your back or flattened it off into the floor. We're keeping that neutral spine. Then from here we're going to engage our core. Inhale. You can bring your hands behind your head or near your ears or just leave them on the floor next to you if you want to. We're going to inhale. Then you're going to exhale, bring your head, neck and shoulders up, tuck your chin and just stretch yourself forward. Make sure you've kept that little gap under your lower back. Then we're going to just slowly replace to the floor. So we're going to inhale here and exhale, tuck and curl. Hold it for an inhale and exhale. Slowly move back to the floor and again inhale here and exhale keep your elbows wide so don't bring your elbows in around your face think about flattening out those shoulder blades on the floor keep your core engaged pull that belly button towards your spine inhale and exhale holding it and slowly release i'm going to do two more like this so inhaling here exhale tucking your chin pushing yourself up Keeping hold of that core, make sure that little gap stays under your low back and then slowly release down. Final one, inhale here and exhale, up and hold. And then slowly bringing yourself down to the mat. Okay, bring your arms next to your body. You're going to bring one and then two legs up to the tabletop. Knees are over your hips, shins are parallel with the ceiling. And then to start with, we're just going to do a little prep exercise. So we're going to do a double leg stretch, which is really good for working on core stability whilst you're changing your centre of gravity. So you're going to move at the moment, you're going to move one leg out, bring it back, other leg out, bring it back, one out, bring it back. So I want you to keep that core engaged, make sure that little gap stays under your low back. And then from here we're going to inhale out, exhale in, inhale out. Exhale in, make sure your knees are staying over your hips and not creeping in closer. If you're finding this really tricky, just place one foot on the ground and just do a single leg 
which will be slightly easier on your core muscles. Keep thinking belly button to spine, keep that core engaged, whichever option you're going to. Make sure you're not flattening your back off into the mat. And if you are doing a single leg, when you put your leg down, try and move from your hip and not from your knee. So you increase that range of movement through your leg. We're going to do three more on each side. Inhaling out, exhale in. Try and keep your shins parallel with the ceiling when they're in our tabletop position. Final one on each leg. And then we're going to just take it up a notch. So you're going to bring your arms into the air. If you want to, you can roll your head, neck and shoulders off, but make sure that you haven't pushed your back into the mat. Then from here, you're going to take your arms and legs out, hold, and bring them back in. Arms and legs out, hold, bring them back in. Two more like this, out and hold, bring them back in. Final one like this, out and hold, bring them back in. Bring those knees into your chest and just give that back a little bit of a rock. We're going to do another two sets of that. So, bringing both legs back up. Now, if this is too much for you right now, either go back to the other option of just moving one leg out and then the other or put one leg down on the floor and you could try just taking one leg out and your arms back if you like so holding this middle position the core engage this time we're going to go out we're going to circle your arms back around and bring your legs back in so we're going to go out circle your arms back around bring your legs back in two more out circle the arms back around legs come back in out final one circle with the arms come down and give those legs and back a little rock and now we're ready for our third set so it's not getting any more challenging we're going to keep it at this level so core engage bringing both legs off the ground again arms are coming up head neck and shoulders off the ground or on the ground keep thinking about that low back and then we're going to take those arms and legs out. This time you're going to take them out to the side, come back and in. So we're going out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Two more. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Final one for good luck. And then bring those legs in. This time taking one your right leg out long, bring your left leg up and then just guiding your left leg over to the right hand side of your body, holding it there, just breathing into that stretch. taking your left leg out long, bringing your right leg up, and then guiding your right leg over to the left hand side of your body, holding it there. giving yourself a full body stretch and then rolling yourself back up to sitting so next we're going to do our other side of the book so coming onto your left hand side again making sure your knees stay fixed together so glue those knees together arm comes out top arm is out in front make sure you've raised your chin up core engage think about pulling your ribs down towards your hips, we're going to take an inhale here, and then exhale, stretch the arm forward, bring it up in line with your shoulder, rotate through that mid spine, take your arm back behind you, holding it for an inhale, and exhale, slowly bringing that arm back down, inhaling at the bottom, exhale, stretching forward without that hip rolling, bringing that arm up in line with your shoulder and rotating back holding it here for an inhale and exhale slowly bring that arm back 
down, the sun is more in my eyes on this side. We're inhaling here. Exhale, taking the arm forward, keep your hips stacked one on top of the other. Bring that arm up in line with your shoulder, rotate through that mid spine. Look behind you, inhale. And exhale and close. Okay, final one like this. Inhale, stretching the arm forward, bringing it up in line with your shoulder, rotate through your mid spine, holding it here, inhale. And exhale. Slowly bringing that arm back down. Super, well done. Okay. Coming back up to your really nice mid back stretch. So you're going to bring your elbows and palms together. You're going to push your elbows and palms together and bring them up and over your head. Then you're going to bring them out like they're a pair of windows. Bring them round and in. Push together and bring them out like they're windows. And come back in. And three more. Push up and out. Two. And then bring your arms back down. Okay, final stretch of the day. We're going to do cat stretch. So you're going to bring yourself into a box. Now, your wrist must be under your shoulder, your knee under your hip. And you're going to tilt that pelvis so your tailbone is pointing off at the back wall. Core is engaged. We're going to take a nice inhale here, then you're going to exhale, take your head between your hands and arch your back into the ceiling, holding it here for an inhale, and then exhale, taking it in the other direction, holding it here for an inhale, and then exhale, taking it in the other direction, holding it for an inhale, and then exhale, we're going to take it in the other direction. Direction. So you're bringing your head up and pushing your belly down into the floor. Core engaged. Exhale. We're going to take it in the other direction. Holding it here for an inhale. And then exhale. Taking it in the other direction. Holding it here. Inhale. And then exhale. So you're taking your spine through a large range of movements. So it's got to be slow and controlled. Final one here. And then coming back into the middle and bring yourself back to sitting. Thank you for joining my Pilates for Swimmers workout today. I hope you found it really useful and beneficial. If you have any questions, please do get in touch. You can find me on all social channels, um, YouTube, Instagram and Facebook at Beyond the Studio Pilates. And I hope to see you on a map very soon. Take care.